Hi YouTubers, quick informative video for anyone working on Mitsubishi Electric VRF. I'm currently working on a PURY P250 YEMA 407C system, very old Mit City Multi Mitsubishi Electric VRF. You might be asking why we're repairing it, because it's absolutely ancient and knackered, but this is what the customer wants, so that's what we're doing. Um, uh, quick background initially, considered short of gas, um, took the gas out, repaired a leak, and then we had some odd running pressures um, to the point I just simply couldn't figure out why. Um, but as always, Mitsubishi Technical, who I consider to be the best technical uh, helpline on the market, were there to help. You simply, um, they simply send over a, a check sheet for you and then you go through the SW1 settings and give them all the readings, write them down on the check sheet, send it back to Mitsubishi, and then they give you their diagnostics of what they think the problem is. Um, and based on that, they will then tell you what to do. In this case, there's a couple of check valves which we're replacing. Um, where's my trusty screwdriver? So check valve, uh, I think it's number four, is uh, this little bezel here, which is tight in there, gonna be hard to get to, but I will get it out. And then the other th uh, few check valves are these little valves which sit in this manifold box. There's a couple there, and there's three round the back there. Now, doing that isn't so easy because to do that, you need to buy some specialist tools, which they don't tell you about. Um, in this case, it's one of these, which is a 19 mil sump socket and a 14 mil sump socket. There you go. And that is exactly what you need to look for on either Google, Amazon, or wherever you go to get your, your tools. Um, I googled sump sockets and I came up with this, uh, which is a, a full set of about eight sockets from whatever size up to 19 mil, which are the sizes that I need. And they were with me within the week. So if you do ever come to uh, the conclusion that you need to change these parts, which just so you know, inside there you get these little kind of nylon valve bits that they need replacing um, they don't all need replacing but we're going to do them all anyway just for um, argument's sake um, these are the bits you need to do that everything else would just be normal braze connections but um, yeah just a quick informative video to show you that if you are going to do this you need to get these tools all right thanks a lot see you later